So the Guatemala of the people have now got five oak posts wrapped with the red bricks, as you can see. Uh, I think they look absolutely fantastic. Um, I would be <laughs> I've been told that I might have put a little bit too much mortar in between the bricks, but I, I like it like that. Anyway, I mean, that's what, that's what we've got. I've also uh, had the stone caps delivered and I've put them on top and they look absolutely fantastic now one thing i need to get done is there's obviously a gap between the wood and the and the stone now i need to seal that as soon as possible uh, because i don't want water to get down there i've treated the bottom of the posts and sealed them with uh, some silicon but i don't want any water in there because i suppose over a long space of time it, it could rot um but yeah they look they look fantastic and i was advised by the chap jamie if you're watching uh who supplied the stone if i put some of this on it color intensifier it'll bring the color out because at the brick the stone that i chose has some red in it and i love the red because it sort of matches this so i printed these uh I painted this one, I've tried this one out first, I painted this one uh, with that stuff and it looks great. And I also painted this, I thought why not do it all, and it has brought uh, the colour out in the brick as well, which I'll show you a, a picture of before and after. So that's that job almost done, my sealant arrived tomorrow so I'll get that on tomorrow. The next job is to build these walls in between the posts, um, now to do that I'm going to set them in with mortar uh, and I'm also going to concrete every so often because that's going to be a retaining wall, part of that's going to be retaining, that's going to be retaining, these two aren't. So that's the next job. I've got to this last one and I'm going to end up with a larger gap between the bricks so it's going to require more mortar which if I were building a wall that was visible that would be a big problem but because it's it's a wall that's not going to be on show <laughs> look at that oh shit that's uh, yeah that's not great but it's uh, yeah, it's, it's a wall that's not going to be on show. It's going to be cladded or rendered. Again, I'm not entirely sure which way, which route I'm going to take, but... I've got my first course down, which is... Uh, 
it's not been easy it's been, it's been a little bit eventful but it's quite it's level i need to get this one down to the right level but it's level both ways this way and that way so hopefully that'll stand me in good stead for the rest of the courses i hope to build just this one wall which is about what is it for? 32 32 bricks it's been a little bit eventful I don't think I've made any mistakes with this one there's the odd brick that's a couple of mil out as as far as height is concerned uh, well you know in, in, in respect to the other ones but on the whole it's uh, it is extremely level and it's very plumb so up the side of it it's uh, yeah it's really plumb so I'm really pleased with that so I've got this last last brick to go in and then I've built a wall so that's that just this one wall then I've got this one this one which is only going to be part of a wall because obviously that's going to be my entrance that one and that one obviously this is the bigger one I think I could throw these uh, <laughs> I need to stop saying that <laughs> I think I could throw them them other walls up quite easily in a lot less time it's taken me to do this. But I'm really pleased with it so far. Yeah, there's a bit bigger. It's always this last brick that I get to. There's a bigger gap. never never get my motor right I either put too much in or not enough and if I put too much in I end up having to kick 10 barrels out <laughs> to squeeze the motor out <laughs> 